hi loves welcome to a new vlog so two things i want to speak to you guys really quickly about the first one is goal setting and the second one is clean scene new year clean scene so i'm going to elaborate but i made an entire video on how to make 2024 your best year yet that video was meant to go up yesterday but for some reason it went up today or it's going to be going up today by six Today is Monday, the 8th of January, by the way. I'm so sorry, guys. I know some of you follow me for a while. I know that Sundays are my posting days. But the reason why that video did not go up yesterday was, okay, two things, right? So I'm struggling with space on my phone right now. So sometimes I film two sit-down videos a day. So I send some of the clips to my brother's phone because that's what I do when I do this thing. I have... I have low storage i send some clips to my brother's phone then when i'm done editing a particular video i'll send the clips back but i did not realize that i sent the clip of the video that was meant to go up yesterday which is sunday to his phone so when i was editing the video yesterday i realized that i had sent the clip to his phone and i said i was going to collect the clip from him because he was trying to go out and i forgot i kind of slept and i forgot when i woke up i realized that he had gone so now i called him to ask him where he was and he was already far gone but i was done editing the video so i'm like okay let me just sleep a bit and i would have asked him to come back but where he was going to was like he was going to do something really important so i slept for a bit and i said i was going to go and get the clip from him so going to get the clip from him i got to where he was and i could not find him there <laughs> i really told him i was coming but then when i got there he wasn't there anymore so i ended up looking for him and then when i now finally found him to get the clip i got the clip i edited it and put on the on the video and then it was time to export the video from CapCut to my phone and then i was low on storage it could not enter the video was just so big and it could not enter and time had just gone i was so angry and there was really nothing i could do guys i'm so so sorry and i'm going to try to do better in that video i explained in details guys step by step you need to see that video if you're watching this vlog right now this vlog is going to be going up on sunday and if you're watching this vlog right now you've not seen that video you have to see that video i put everything i broke down everything in details how we can achieve all of our goals in 2024 and if you watch that video and you take all of the advice i gave in that video there is no way 2024 is not going to be your best year there is just there's just no way i promise you so in this video, we're going to be talking about two things, cleansing and goal setting. I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be setting my goals for this year. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some of the things I let go at the beginning of the year um, to start a fresh, like to have a fresh start for 2024. So it's not too late to do all of that, guys. So if you've not like done your yearly cleansing, please just pay attention to all of the things I'm going to be mentioning in this video. And... We're going to be starting with the clean scene. I got this thing from Valerie's story on the 31st. And I actually used this thing to cleanse myself. It's all spiritual cleansing, guys. <laughs> but like, it's just a yearly cleansing thing. I don't, I, I can't explain. I don't know the word to use. But she actually broke them down into three different categories. We have digital cleansing, environmental cleansing, and personal cleansing. I don't know if I should mention them in order or I should put them on the screen for you guys. If I mention them in order, this video is going to be so long. So maybe I should just leave them on the screen. But I'll just talk about the digital cleansing. Then I'll leave the rest on the screen for you guys to do. And this really, really helped me to set a, a new tone or a good tone for 2024. So the first thing here is digital cleansing. She said unsubscribe from emails I don't read. Guys. Immediately I saw this one, I ran to go and look at my emails. And I had over 2 million emails that I don't... Like, I was so confused when I saw that I had so many emails. So I started deleting emails from 2018, from 2020, 2017 down to 2023. It was so helpful. I have deleted over 2 million emails. I'm not even capping. And it just made me feel very, very refreshed. Like going to my emails now and just seeing that everything is gone just made me feel very very comfortable and i'm even still getting emails up to you today guys it is a lot so that one i think is very very important the second one i also um paid attention to was unfollow accounts that don't inspire or make me feel good guys i went to my following 
to unfollow accounts that i do not um resonate with anymore and i unfollowed a lot of them i found a lot and i also realized that people that i was following in 2023 had also unfollowed me like people that i was following that i knew also unfollowed me so it's actually a good way like i was so happy that i saw this and i actually went to check because yeah usually i actually check to see like accounts that i don't resonate with anymore and also check to see if people have unfollowed me because people be running mad sometimes i don't know why you follow somebody and you know unfollow. like i saw someone that literally asked me to follow them and they had unfollowed me so why did you ask me to follow you when you were going to unfollow me so i did that and it made me feel really good the next one here was clear out phone and screenshots i don't need i cleared my phone i cleared my phone guys i currently have like maybe 300 or 400 screenshots on my phone i used to have over 2000 <laughs> why there's another one here that says delete apps i also deleted apps and i also created a vision board which i spoke about in that video so guys jump on this list and do your cleansing before you get into the year proper we are still in the first week of the year you guys are going to be seeing this video by sunday so we're still like in the second week of the year and it's not even too late like we have the we have the whole year so jump on this there's the one that's for personal cleansing which is reflect on 2023 um create a vision board plus goals which i've done I restock on my supplements and skincare i'm looking to restock on my supplements and skincare this month and then she she said create my 2024 hobbies list so it's a lot guys there's another one that's environmental cleansing i'll just leave it on the screen so i'm not talking too much you guys should go and look at it okay okay so the second thing i want to speak to you guys about is goal setting and i wrote some things in this notebook honestly i'll advise you to go and watch how to set your goals for 2024 and make 2024 your best year yet that video will be linked in the description box because if you watch that video first and come back to this one you're going to kind of understand where i'm coming from but in that video i talked about breaking our goals into daily goals weekly goals and monthly goals so i just want to quickly explain what i mean by breaking down our goals into daily weekly and monthly goals and give you guys example on how you can break your goals down into daily weekly and monthly goals so for so today is monday i have already written down my goals for tomorrow because i try to write down my goals for each day the day before so I've, my goals for monday have been written down and filming these videos and talking to you guys was part of my goal for monday so tomorrow is tuesday and some of my goals for tomorrow is wake up at 7 a.m to pray and edit the sheen video from 9 a.m to 1 p.m plus clear some emails so i'm going to be doing that from 9 a.m to 1 p.m tomorrow so the next thing i want to do after that is take a 30 minute nap from 1 p.m to 1 30 p.m obviously i may be tired from editing and clearing emails so i want to quickly take a 30 minute nap go on social media for an hour so this is my break time obviously in between this time i might like go on my social media for like 10 minutes because i actually i'm actually very conscious in that video i also talked about time management i'm trying so hard to manage my time because obviously like social media like just going on tiktok and instagram and just viewing people's story does not really add any value to my life so i really really want to cut that down a lot in this year so you guys see how very detailed my daily goals are but my weekly goals will not be as detailed i'm not going to be putting time i'm not going to put in all of that so at the end of the week some of the things i want to achieve is post on youtube do a chit chat for the vlog which i'm doing right now this is something that i already planned from monday so at the end of the week on monday i want to post a youtube video which i'm going to be posting that video i told you guys i was meant to go up yesterday today and i'm also doing this chit chat with you guys so that is some of my goals for monday but they are not details but these are some things i really want to achieve at the end of the week i want to make sure i come back here and see that i have achieved all of these things sunday is church plus posting so like my weekly goals are not very detailed but my daily goals are very very detailed but at the end of the week i want to be able to achieve some of these major things from my daily goals so moving to monthly goals monthly goals will be very straightforward so at the end of the month now after i've done everything every day at the end of the month and every week at the end of the month i want to have at least six videos up on youtube the second thing i wrote here is should have gone to the bank and gotten my op account like obviously i'm not going to open the op account in the bank but like 
I want to go to the bank and get an ATM card. I also want to open an OP account. So at the end of the month, I should have gone to the bank to get the ATM card and open the OP account. Get new skincare products and body care products. That's some of the things I want to achieve before the end of this month. And then make sure that my laundry is sorted. So I also want to get my laundry sorted, like every single thing. But I already took my, if you watch the vlog from the beginning, I already took my clothes to the laundry. That is one thing that I want to achieve in this month, okay? So you guys see how I have broken down. The daily goals are very detailed. The weekly goals are also not as detailed as the daily goals. And then the monthly goals is just making sure that I have done my my daily goals. I brought my daily goals to life. I brought my weekly goals to life. And now I'm going to now go over the month and see all of the things that I have achieved. Every day I go over my goals when I'm trying to plan for the next day. I take the ones that I have accomplished. If I have any one that I have to move over, then I'm able to move it over to the next day. I hope this video was very detailed. I'm, I'm trying so hard to cut down the time and not talk too much because I know this is so long. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and I hope this was helpful to someone. I want this year to be very, very, very good to all of us and I want us to be intentional about everything that we're going to be doing this year. If we are intentional about our goals in this year, we are actually going to meet them. But if we are nonchalant and we procrastinate, we might most likely not get a lot of things done. So it's still the start of the year and we still have time to plan and start and make 2024 our best year yet. Not our best year because 2025 is only going to get better. 2026 is only going to get better and better and better and better and better. So yeah, that is it guys. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to me. My name is Mary Agin. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to your girl. Give this video a thumbs up so it will reach a lot of people. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Mwah. I just finished filming. It literally took like 45 minutes and I'm so grateful. Like literally. Oh, Hi guys, I lost my voice. I don't know if you guys remember the last clip before this one.
I literally could not speak on that day. That has been like two days ago. And I went to the pharmacy, got some drugs. I don't even know if the drugs worked because as of yesterday, I could not speak at all. My voice was gone. Like I'm just recovering today. And today is Saturday. So my mom actually got me like a new drug to try. So this is what I'm currently taking. I took this this evening and it has actually helped with my voice and that's why i'm able to speak to you guys so two things i came here to speak to you guys about two things that are making me so happy right now the fact that i have lost my voice and also the fact that everything in this country is just going up like every single day and no one is going to say anything about it like it's just getting bad and honestly it's really really affected me as an individual because tell me why i was by indomie and one Indomie was 450 Naira. By next week, I will now be buying Indomie for 500 Naira. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And it's making me so, so, so angry. And the fact that this has to happen when I'm an adult is just making me more angry. I hope you guys can hear me because I really wanted to speak to you guys about the hike of price in this country. It's so, so sad. Even with like the skincare products I went to get, everything was double. Like I have them here. I'm going to do the unboxing with you guys for like like I'm so angry. That's my point. Anyways, guys, this my voice thing has just made me not be able to do a lot of things. As of yesterday, I felt like I was actually sick. I could not do anything. Like most of my goals for this week were actually not met. And I know that I started this video with telling you guys to plan for the year. That was like the main purpose of this video to actually put you guys on how i'm actually planning to achieve all of my goals in this year and how i'm doing my weekly daily and monthly plan which i'm actually going to still follow i tried i tried for this week i actually filmed a sit down video i was meant to film two sit down videos this week but because i lost my voice on thursday i could not do anything i was also meant to do other errands like go to the bank i was just feeling so sick i really just had to rest yesterday and i just feel like i have to move a lot of things from this week to next week but i'm just grateful that my voice is gradually coming back because as of thursday i couldn't speak at all like so let's do the unboxing before i end this video because it's already saturday and this vlog is going up tomorrow which is sunday so after this i'm just going to try to edit the video and have it up for you guys tomorrow god i hope you people can hear me god the first thing here is this cosarex advanced new 92 only one cream some people say it's all pronounced cosarex i hope you guys can see like i hope it's focused for you guys to see <sighs> some people say it's all pronounced cosarex that is how i personally know how to pronounce it it's obviously not an English word, it's a Korea word, so I do not speak Korea. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really like this moisturizer and that's why I keep getting it. I'm going to actually do like a review of this moisturizer and tell you guys all of the benefits that this moisturizer has. I'll do that as a separate video entirely. Obviously, you guys cannot really hear my voice right now, so I can't even say let me do that right now. But this moisturizer is actually really really good i 100 percent recommend it i started using this moisturizer like two or three months ago and i have not come back from using it the last time i got this moisturizer was like 12,500 naira, and now and i went to get it today it's not 15,500 naira, which was so annoying if we are being honest but we move there's nothing i can do i like the moisturizer nothing like i've not found any other moisturizer that beats this moisturizer yet and uh, i'm stuck with the moisturizer so even if the price goes to twenty thousand naira, i still have to get it because i actually really like it but hopefully the price doesn't go to twenty thousand naira. rather it goes back to twelve thousand five hundred naira or even ten thousand naira. i'm actually really tired i'm tired i'm just a girl i'm just a girl it's annoying Okay, the second thing I got is in my toner, simple micellar water toner with what? With what? You guys, I'm actually realizing now that 
I put the micellar water, not the toner. <laughs> Wait, one minute I'm coming. Just one. This is micellar water and this is the toner. I'm actually already running out. That is why I had to get a new one. I was not paying attention and I went and bought micellar water instead of toner. I have micellar water. See my micellar water here. So I'm going to call Lydia, ask her if she has a toner and if I can actually swap to the toner. Hopefully she collects it back because I'm always buying my skincare product from her. So it would be nice if she gives me the toner instead of the micellar water because I don't need it. Next thing, I got these face marks. Just got one because I think I have like some somewhere so i just go one just in case i don't find what i have i'll just use this one for next week and the last thing i got my cutting pads cutting pads so it's my 1800 naira and this was 1000 naira this was like the most affordable thing i got but anyways guys we've come to the end of this video i hope this video was helpful please like this video Please subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed and turn on post notifications. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join their moving train. <laughs> not me acting all all cute when I actually look sick and I have a dead voice. <laughs> Please just take the information that I provided at the beginning of this video very seriously. Let's make 2024 our best year yet. Let's make 2024 our, our year of growth. Let's stand on business and do whatever we said we're going to do. Guys, even though because I'm standing on business and I'm doing everything I said I was going to do, I was not going to come here again to record and try to post a video on Sunday. But I want this video to go up tomorrow because I have goals and I want to meet them. So in this year, I'm encouraging all of us stand on business and try to do all of the things that we set out for ourselves to achieve in this new year and i pray that god is going to give us the strength to keep going god is going to give us the ideas we need to get everything done in this year i pray that god will protect us keep us safe and just surround us with people that will motivate us and help us grow generally in 2024 once again happy new year guys and I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.